Okay, at this point it's a good idea to turn on high quality and turn off motion blur and auto proxy mode. Good. So let's copy and paste the merge 3D and the render. Control C, click on an empty area, Control V and move it to the right place. Now since the merge 3D node is pretty close to the wireless camera here, we can just use this one without having to create another instance. Cool, let's bring in a replace material node and branch out from the replace normal node. Hook it into the merge 3D and let's drop in a blend material and a reflect material. Now the bling goes into the background slot of the reflect material for the simple reason to pass on color, opacity and specular attributes to the reflect material. Essential when you want to create glass. Now since we want a raw reflection pass we set the color to black. Next grab a copy of our HDR wireless node Control C to copy and click here and this time Control Shift V to paste in an instance. Append a sphere map node. You can leave the default settings. Hook this into the reflect color channel. By the way, before releasing your mouse, hit Alt to get the channel pop up menu. Okay, let's create our bump map. Now, this is always the same procedure. Drop in a fast noise, append a create bump node and always append a bump map node and don't forget to set it to bump. Okay, let's modify the noise. We set the noise detail to 6.2 and the scale to 50. Go over to the color tab and set the color type to gradient and try to match it to what you see here. Now go to the image tab and choose 16-bit float and let's see how it looks. Well, it's a little bit strong, so we're going to bring this down to about 0 0.57. And let's hook this into the blinds bump material slot and the reflects bump material slot. However, it still looks like it's a little bit too strong. So let's bring it even more down. By the way, holding control allows you to fine tune all sliders and ribbons. Okay, next, let's set up our renderer. This time in the render type, choose OpenGL. Open the output channel drop down and activate the super sampling. I prefer to choose the reconstruction filter triangle with a super sample rate of 5. Now, very important, make sure that here in the texture drop down, your texture depth is set to either 16-bit, 32-bit float or source. If you miss this and leave it at 8-bit, as you can see the reflections look dull. However, if you choose source, it will inherit the bit depth of the source, which is our 32-bit HDR or our noise or whatever comes in here. Now, if you look at the bottom, the values go over 1. But if you leave it at 8-bit, the values are at 0 0.2. Very careful. I don't know why this is set to 8-bit integer by default. And it's easy to oversee if you don't open the drop-down. Also very important, as always, go over to the image tab and set your output bit depth to 16-bit float. Okay, great. You have just created your reflection pass. So let's jump to the next one. 